Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Let's get right into continuing our end of year review series with science. Now, if you saw our curriculum picks video for first grade and you're wondering why there was so much in the curriculum picks video, but not so much here, part of that's because a lot of those things are just used from year to year um, supplements. And I didn't feel like pulling them out from all of their nooks and crannies and then sticking them back into place. And really, truly, this was the core of our curriculum. And I don't want to let those other things distract from this. Most of our science, pretty much all of our science was three things. This book you see in front of us, along with Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that, um, can be found on PBS Kids, also on Netflix. I believe they have the whole series on Netflix. There's at least five or six seasons of it on Netflix. Um, we are also using, we also heavily use Magic School Bus, also found on Netflix. And you can find Magic School Bus Rides Again, which are the updated sequels, which are also found. It's a Netflix only special. Um, it's very good, very wonderful. Um, we use those repeatedly year after year. My daughter asks to watch it. And then this just happens to be a book I found at a used consignment sale. Um, it is a Georgia edition. So this one um, happens to have like highlights about like science around the state of Georgia, which because we do have family in the area kind of apply to her. And there was actually one time where we were going to be visiting with my mother and going to the symphony um, for an educational field trip. And it actually highlighted the symphony as part of this unit on sound right before we went to the symphony. And I had a very um, happy uh, homes pat on the back moment with homeschooling um, when that happened. Um, we really liked this book. It tells, it's really out of date. It's from like 2002, but um, the only in instance I found where the issue, where an issue arose from the fact that this was from 2002 was when they were talking about natural resources and talking about what needed to be conserved. It didn't mention anything about how toxic plastics are to our environment and fixated only on paper. And so with that regard, I um, was easily able to just slip in some references and mention to her about the plastics and we were able to move on with life. Um, if you are religious and you are more of a creationist viewpoint, I do not see anything in here that would be alarming to you guys that you would want to avoid. Um, uh, if you are evolutionary, there's nothing in here that would be worth avoiding in that regard either. It is a perfectly public school leveled book, um, which is exactly what we were looking for. Um, that was, it's very simple wording. It is on a first grade level reading level. So not only is it like just stuff that they can learn, but it's stuff that you can encourage them to start to read with you about. Um, and it really does engage in nice ways. And to the point where I know that textbooks can get a bad rap, but, oh, it also has a, um, easy to do um, experiment, which you don't need like any special things for. Most of these we could do if we had had the time, but we didn't, so we didn't do them. So there's an experiment at the beginning of them. I have seen additions for California and other states. So that's worth, if you're interested in this and you live in another state, you might wanna see if you can find one for your state. Um, having this apply to a state where um, we, uh, visit quite frequently. It was very helpful to us. Um, my daughter liked this book so much that she has actually asked if she can have it in her playroom now that we are done with it. You heard me right. My kid wants to read a textbook again because she wants to. 
and she likes looking at the pictures and all of it. So for the bad rep that the textbooks get, this is a very simple one. I would probably not let it be the only thing. We did do a lot of like talking about things and um, checking, doing a cat in a hat and um, magic school bus videos to kind of supplement with this. But as kind of like a core base foundational block for you to jump off from to kind of gather your information around, this was exactly what I wanted. And bonus, I got it for two bucks, y'all. Two bucks. So yeah, I'm ex so I, that just makes it all the better, especially because if you look at this in comparison to the current day Harcourt science, which is called science fusion, um, it is nearly identical. And I basically didn't see when I got to see a sample of the whole thing, I didn't see any differences between that and this. So for 150 bucks, you can do the online digital one, which you can't share with another kid, but you get online labs and a few online digital readers, or you can suck it up and just pay the $2 for this and uh, get all the supplement stuff yourself. Um, you can imagine what we, decide, what we decided to do in that regard. Um, so that wraps up our thoughts on end of year thoughts on the science. Um, tune in to the channel if you want to see what we are doing for second grade. We will start our curriculum picks videos as soon as we wrap up the end of year review videos for this the summer uh, for first grade. Um, be sure to hit that notification bell if you want to f find out when we release videos. Our, my schedule is Every try, I do my best to do every week on a Wednesday and occasion, with occasional bonus videos on Fridays. You might see more bonus videos over the summer because I have a lot of content to get through if we're going to get through all of the end of year and the curriculum review videos or uh, curriculum pick videos for the year. Thank if you tuned in this long, thank you for watching. Be sure to comment down below what you've been using for science this year and whether you like it or not. Let me hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.